So in this video, we're going to be factoring polynomials. So let's start with a function. And now we're going to use a technique called grouping. And this is basically when I take this um, polynomial and I group it into pairs that I can see are going to give me common factors. So I can see that this multiplied by 3 is that and that multiplied by 3 is that. So from the first bracket I can factor out, let's see, 3 and squared. Actually, sorry just n squared and I'm left with n plus 3 if I take n out n squared from n cubed I'm left with n if I take n squared out from 3n squared I'm left with 3 and similarly if I took out a common factor from here which is 2 obviously I'm left with n plus and because I'm left with the exact same thing, I can write this out like and then n squared plus 2. And that is how I can factor by grouping. And now let's look at some quadratics. Um, um, let's do like, like a quick refresher. Remember, we want two numbers that multiply to the third term and add up to the second term. And remember, the sign of the third term, if it's negative, it means I have a positive multiplied by a negative. So that's the first thing. And it means, well, the negative means that it's two different signs, positive or negative, negative or positive. But to figure out which one uh, or how they multiply or add up, I know that they add up to the middle number, which is if that's also a negative. I know that the bigger number is going to be negative because Let's put it like this, because when you add these two numbers up, you're still in the negative. So in this case, two numbers that add up to 30, I mean, you can do 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4, not exactly, but 5 and 6. And the ones that add up to that, to a negative one, in this case, the only ones off by one are these ones. And my bigger number is going to be negative, so I'm going to have x minus 6, x plus 5. So that's what I'm left with. So... Um, let's do another one. Um, let's do uh, 18x squared minus 50. And uh, let's see where we can um, take things out. Um, so one of the first things I see a common denominator between these two. So basically this rule is going to be 
understanding this will be able to look at something like that and quickly go down into that so that's something important to have let's continue um, let's do another one let's do to go about this but in this case we're going to do something called um, like when we look at this we know we see that we don't have any um, common factors so we can what we can do is take this middle term and split it so it's, I know that um, 5x minus 6x is equal to negative x so instead of writing that I'm just gonna write in
that. I know that when I have x plus 1 here, nothing to factor out there. But here, if I factor out x squared, I'm left with x plus 1. the same x minus 3 minus 2. 